All right, let's run through the process of making some of these N95 masks. Uh, we start with a mold. And I can get that size in here for you, but basically here's a template for it. And we'll walk you through that. You can either sew it or hot glue it together. That's the template for the mask. And this is the template for the give it a eight and a half by 11 here. This is the template for the MERV 13 or MERV 16 filter that uh, is a good enough filter to filter out any of the COVID-19 um, virus. All right, so here is the carbon filter that I cut out that is going to get used. The carbon filter is good for a couple things. It'll give some rigidity to the mask and it will also, um, carbon filters are used to keep odor out. So instead of their healthcare workers or law enforcement smelling something and sneezing into their mask, the carbon filter should help with, with those things. And it gives the mask some rigidity. And then after that, we take this template, and this is granted it's for uh, an adult male size. You have to scale it down a little bit for a child or a small female. Um, but we take this Merv, either a 13 or Merv 16 rated household filter, and we basically tear it apart. And this one here is a, a Lennox. It's a Merv 13 rated filter, but it's a little better one. This one's got a uh, carbon fusion in it, so it takes out dust, dirt, debris, pollen, all that good stuff. Um, and what's good about this one, it was big enough at a five inches wide that we get a lot of material out of it. So basically just started stripping it down, pulling that mesh back, and also keep in mind when you're using this, the airflow goes a certain way. So you want that side towards your mouth. So the part that I cut out here, I put a little X on what's gonna be the inside. So from that, let's see if I can do this here. This side is gonna to be towards the mouth. So we're gonna start by going it outside in or inside out. And where's my other side that I cut out? Where did that go? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, here we go, right next to my template. I made a template for that as well. So we're gonna hot glue this one down first, and then we're gonna hot glue this one on top of it, on top of this one. So let me see if I can do that while still holding the phone. All right, I'll just do it this way. We're going to go. Way easier with two hands. All right, hot glue on there. Let's see if we can do this. Set it on there like that. Push it down. All right. And the reason for keeping this is so there's a continuous filter between your mouth here. So we'll put this one right on top. We are going to there go. it's a little better. Maybe not in the screen, but it's a little better. All right, we're going to put this one over the top. I don't have it lined up quite perfect there with the trying to do it one-handed. It was a little warm, but it sets up fast.
And then we take, after we get that done, we're going to glue that seam together right here. And I'm gonna need another glue stick here. All right, we're gonna glue that seam real good. Fold that over the top, put the seams right together, hold it down for a minute, let the glue set up for a minute. Not even a minute, it goes quick. So, like I said, the one with the X is the side that will go towards you. And then from here, we just turn the mask. Get a little, turn the mask inside out. See if I can do this with settling up. Push this side out. Oop. Glue hadn't had enough time to set up yet. So here, here's the mass that faces you. And then what I've what I've done here is just glue these little extra pieces down into the side just so they stay out of, out of your way and then you can either use like rubber band or elastic band to go around your neck and top of your head otherwise like on uh, this one used an elastic ace bandage thing with a bandage on it that will go there and stick on otherwise there's this other one, We're done. Fits around your nose real good. Let me see if I can throw it on real quick. All right, there we go. Here is the N95 or better mask with the this one has a Merv 13 or you could use Merv 16 so it fits well to your nose there's enough space in your mouth it fits tight on your chin so there's no air getting in anywhere I think it'll even be better if you do a two separate strap thing a strap at the bottom and a strap towards the head like a, a regular N95 mask you know with the this one has a nose piece you could do that if you wanted. Otherwise, uh, I think a two-strap system would be even a little better. All right, that's all I got. Stay safe.